gate. I see the gate. You guys, you guys, we've almost made it. Oh my goodness. I wonder if this is going to be it. Oh my gosh. And actually, Pi looks really kind of frightening. But hello, everyone, and welcome to the South Iron Gate here in Star Stable Online. For the very first time, we are setting hoof near the Golden Hills Valley and getting very, very close to finally hitting level 15. I am going to do a dance of joy if we manage to get that done. We might finally be able to reach the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur before the big update, which would be fantastic. And we are still with Pirate Beauty, our treasure loving horse, or Zoni, I should say, <laughs> who has been rescued from a band of pirates and has joined our side to help us on our adventures with her seagull, Steven, of course, who we still need to rename, but she's actually got Steven's feather in her mane, which I really love. But all right, I think this may be it. I think this may be it. Let's see if we're about to hit level 15. Have our skills finally grown enough after all this time that we can make things happen? Also, oh my gosh. Like, hang on. Hang on, guys. I know it's not polite. I'm gonna ask for a little bit of permission, but I gotta take a picture of this person. Like, what? Hello? Hello, Fee? Hello, it's very nice to meet you. Um, the friends that, the friends that Yedris has? Hi, I have your five leaf clover for you. Wow, her fingers are so cool. <laughs> Little girl, I don't think you realize what you've just done. And that's for the best, trust me. But thanks, see you again. Time to go, I have lots to prepare. Oh my gosh, what even? We just got the amazing Yidris updated in our journal and we leveled up to level 15. <laughs> we need to go and I think, I, I don't know who to speak with. I think we'll go and speak with, who's Merlin? What? Merlin is waiting for us back in, back in Valdel. What has just happened? Oh my gosh. Okay, Fee, I think maybe dabbling a little in the dark side has actually been what has pushed us over the edge. Also, your broom is amazing and I kind of wish that I could pose on that. Um, so just another picture for the records, if you don't mind. Like, I don't think she does. Like, she seems to be quite content with showing off a little. Look at her. Wow. Okay, this is amazing. All right. If I talk to her again. Bye-bye, little girl. I don't need you anymore. For now. Oh my gosh. Tell Linda about the circus. I guess I need to get to the vineyard and tell Linda about this. Oh my goodness. Look at her go. She's flying off with those five-leaf clovers and I can't follow her past the iron gate. What? This is amazing! She's disappearing into the trees. Wow. Okay, I think I did a bad thing. So I think that Pirate Beauty doesn't really care about messing with good or bad magic. She's probably seen plenty of both in her time with the pirates, but we just leveled up to level 15. Oh my goodness, I think we can finally go to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. I am so excited. We need to go straight up and we need to go talk to Linda. That has to happen, like, now. Can I use those trailers to get up there by any chance? No. And yes, Thalia will come back eventually, I promise. But we need to go talk to Linda. And then as soon as we're done, we are going to take a little tram or the trailer over to Valdel. And we are going to see if it is finally time to prepare to set foot in those snowy lands. Phew. Okay. We're back. Linda, you've got quite the crowd with you tonight. Let's see what she has to say. So there was a circus, or carnival as Yidris called it. They were a bit strange, and you had to help him find five-leaf clovers for a witch? That doesn't sound too good. Five-leaf clovers are extremely rare and can only be found by very special people. And when they're given away, they gain additional magical properties. There's nothing to do about it now. There's lots of strange characters around here these days, and it's quite unusual for witches and wizards to show themselves in public. Okay, that's all she has to say about that. 
Oh my gosh, look at this crowd, wow. People are up to things, all right. But let's go ahead and wiggle past and it may soon be time to actually swip, like swap out horses. Cause I don't know, I don't think she really cares, but if there's not a lot of like treasure to be made, I'm not sure how into doing these quests Pirate Beauty would be. She's used to magic, but she's not obsessed with it like Fire Lord is, for instance. And this is beginning to sound like Fire Lord's territory, to be honest. All right, let's come over. We might have to pop back to Home Stable and swap horses, but first, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, Elizabeth, deliver, the snow just won't melt. Um. Oh, and the cure, that's right. We have a bit to do, but the snow won't melt first. Now it's really been a while. Does the snow up on the mountain pass never melt? There's been a few unseasonably warm days lately, so maybe it's time to get up there and have a proper check. I know you're probably fed up watching the snow melt, but I'm really keen to get to, into the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaurs now. It's been a hundred years since people were last there, and a little bit of snow shouldn't stop us. <gasps> Ride to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur and see if the mountain pass is still blocked with ice and snow. Yes! Yes! All right, time to go back to the my stable. We need to grab Daygaze. He is going to be our wonderful ride into the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Do I even have an outfit for him to put on? Pardon me, pardon me. I don't even know if I have saddle gear for him. I may not. This is a little bit alarming. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and jump down. Melanie Warrior, you look years younger. I Every time I see you, I am just so impressed. All right, so we want a colder area. Um, Where is Daygaze? Let's come over. We want to arrange our horses so they're all in their proper places. Also, you can go back inside the saddle for now, Steven. Um, and Daygaze, is that you at the end? Everybody gets all shuffled around. It is Daygaze! Hey, Daygaze! Oh, and he has his little seal that he helped to rescue from the snows. This is awesome. I'm going to need a new outfit. If we're going up to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, I have a feeling it's going to be cold. Daygaze, you're not the fastest, but we're going to work on that, buddy. We're going to work on that. All right, let's go ahead and open up my closet. And just, Daygaze, are you okay? You're, like, drifting into, into my closet end of season Christmas dress. Well, I guess I can buy some warmer clothes when I'm there, but let's get some soft gray mittens for starters. This is almost the most fun I've had in like ever, just getting to pick out my outfit for this momentous moment. This is so exciting. Uh, let's see, what about this one? A deluxe dressage jacket. I do wanna wear like good stats, but also what about this one? Oh, it's just a nice warm sweater. <laughs> just like a plain nice warm sweater. I wonder how long I've had that just hiding in there. Uh, oh, and the little brown knitted hat. That'll be good for me. All right, let's make sure. There we go. The right thing is showing. Um, maybe, oh, a little Christmas. You know what? I'm going to bring the Christmas dress because <laughs> I want to feel the cheer and the season. And it is kind of Christmas season. Um, and if that, you know what? I even have like a nice crown I could wear up there. I even have this fancier exclusive Christmas dress. Uh, we've got quite the selection. Do I have anything a little warmer? Hmm. Top quality riding jacket. I bet they sell plenty of warm things up there if anyone is still up there because rumor has it that the place has emptied out in preparation for what is coming. And I'll bring bling, bring blah, blah, the black Fortuna pants. I'm just so excited. I'm like tripping over myself right now. Uh, what about this? That's just a normal jacket. You guys, we're gonna have a fun time one day going through all of this together and just figuring out what on earth I actually own. Because <laughs> there's such a huge selection, but I think this is adorable actually. We're dressed up a little bit festively and we are ready to explore the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur for Christmas time, which I think is perfect. And Daygaze is ready to go and help out. He is a very good horse. He likes to participate in rescue missions of small animals. Uh, and he actually does love to watch over and try to take good care of our, our little foal that we rescued a little bit ago. 
Uh, and we haven't seen her for a while. She's in my Star Stable Horses app, so we're gonna have to see how she's doing. But to the Valdell Village. Oh, is this happening? I'm putting this in my joy journal today. This is fantastic. Work upon work. And I will always be slightly grateful for Yidris. And remember that actually dabbling in a little bit of the more concerning magic happened to unlock the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur for us. Just by chance. But maybe it wasn't entirely by chance that leveling up to the required level had to do with Yidris, the circus, and whatever energies and magics they happen to mess with. So, all right, let's get up there, guys. Ah, Diggies, there's no need to be concerned about anything. You have the most beautiful tail, by the way. I really am enchanted with your, your beautiful, beautiful hair. And here we are. Are you guys ready for this? <gasps> it's finally melted! It's finally open! The snow melted. A passage through the ice is exposed. All right, we've got to go tell Elizabeth. Come on, Diggies. I'm really wishing you were a little faster right now, but I can totally understand that, you know, I've never actually raced you before. Maybe we'll have all sorts of things that he can do when we get to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. <laughs> This is so exciting. I am so happy. All right, come on, Diggies. You are a little bit slower than we needed, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll raise him a lot when we get there. I mean, we might have an entirely new area that we'll have to build reputation with after all. All right, and let's come over. Elizabeth, I have thrilling news. Two years in the making. Really? What wonderful news! I had a feeling it'd be fine. The days have been so warm and sunny lately, with the sun shining straight onto the side of the mountain. Alright, come on now, away you go! How exciting! Now the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur is open and waiting for us to explore. I really want to get my hands on some of the stuff that's been locked up in the valley for years. It's such a shame that the mountain pass had been so heavily blocked, otherwise we could have gone there ages ago. Ah, oh, well. Now what are we waiting for? Ride out and look for a safe way to get through the valley, then report to me. Come on now. Away you go, my friend. Here's a little tip. The valley is very isolated, and it might be tough to get out once you get in. Make sure you have some extra space in your backpack, because there's no going back to any shops or stables in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we're okay. We even have the little berries that we can say we've got. The lignin berries and the blueberries that Degays might carry around in case we come across hungry little lemmings or something like that. And the moment has come. We've got food. We've got a seal. We've got a few too many items, but we can try to make some extra space. Push come to shove. Push come to shove. I, I can eat plenty of the bananas. I will I will make the bananas disappear and we'll manage with some of the other stuff. But this is it. For two years, I have dreamed of this moment and wondered what is going to be here. And just as they are getting ready to do a huge overhaul of the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur and change things, we have finally, finally made it. All right, Diggays. If you don't mind, we're going to get right up here. And we're gonna pose. The seal at least managed to face the right direction. And we are going to celebrate finally reaching the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Oh my gosh. There, oh, that's so cool. With a little blue cast to it. Oh, there, I'm gonna, oh, this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna remember this always. This is fantastic. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's back up a little. I just want to make sure I, I you know my mother was a s professional scrapbooker and ran a scrapbook store So I'm very into taking pictures But let's do this We're wiggling in look at the gigantic ice This is fantastic. Diggies is actually from this place. He came down the mountain ages ago This is the first time I've ever seen it the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm so glad I get to appreciate it for what it is now before it changes. I wonder what that lift is all about. Let's get up there and see. 
The old elevator. Oh my gosh. If it's been a hundred years, I mean, it has electricity, so I shouldn't be... The elevator hasn't been used in a hundred years. It's not usable. That's what I was just saying. If it hasn't been used in a hundred years, this seems a little dangerous to me. A frozen valley thick with freezing mist spreads out beneath the old elevator shaft. Welcome to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Can we get down there? No elevator, but it really looks as though it's possible to get down the mountainside here. The ice platforms along the mountain don't look as though they've held up very don't look as though they'd hold up very long if you step on them. I need to get down without stopping. Then I won't be able to be come back up the same way. This feels so risky, but you gotta do what you gotta do. In the name of adventure, I hope I can find a way up later. Until then, I'm alone and have nobody, but Dege's of course, to help me. <gasps> Alright. Alright. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. <laughs> okay, Dege's. I'm glad that you're very sure-footed, and I'm suddenly happy not to have a faster horse, to be completely honest. All right. And moving, moving, moving. Oh my gosh. Okay. We want to be very sure-footed about this. And he's very calm. Degas is used to high-stress, high-adrenaline situations where he can actually... Let's wiggle down here where he can actually protect and defend. He doesn't really lose himself. I'm lost though. Degas, where do we go? Over here? We won't be able to get back up, so we better finish this right. And there we go. We are down here, guys. Nobody can help us now. We have reached the bottom of the elevator shaft. This is the lower part of the elevator shaft. The elevator seems as unusable from down here as it is from up there. And here we are. We are beginning a new stage of a brand new fantastic adventure. And I'm really glad I packed some warm clothes and some extra berries to eat. And we'll have to see what Dege's is going to do now that we are here with him in this new land next time. So if you guys could, please consider subscribing to join our adventures. We have this and thousands more, and I am so happy to be sharing this with you guys. And if you could, leave a like to give Dege's a little extra support and congratulations for getting us down that mountainside. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.